So guys, my surprise gift. Ano kaya? Actually, tinanggal ko na yung ano. Excited! the skeletal muscle slide. And I'm going to attach this to my cell phone. Galing, no? And it will just project using my cam up. It will just project on the screen. Ayan. Naikabit ko na yung aking mini microscope sa aking cell phone. And you are now looking at the cross-section of the skeletal muscle. Ang galing, no? So, it's just projected on the screen. This is a cross-section of skeletal muscle. Skeletal muscle, as its name would suggest, is attached to the bones of the skeleton. Voluntary contraction of the muscles allows you to move an arm, a leg, or a finger. Each cell is a long cylindrical fiber and the cells are grouped in bundles. Look for the darker shape of the flattened nucleus sitting at the edge of each cell in the longitudinal section. The cross section shows the individual fibers looking like small circles massed together, sort of like looking at the eraser end of a bundle of pencil. We are looking at the spinal cord, the cross-section. Spinal cord is a column of nerves that travels through the spinal canal. The cord extends from the skull to the lower back. 31 pairs of nerves branch out through vertebral openings, the neural foramen. These nerves carry messages between the brain and muscles. What cells are in the spinal cord? Astrocytes, a kind of glial cell, are the primary support cells of the brain and spinal cord. They make and secrete proteins called neurotrophic factors. The brain and spinal cord are your body's central nervous system. The brain is the command center for your body and the spinal cord is the pathway 
way for messages sent by the brain to the body and from the body to the brain. Neurons are one of the most diverse cellular populations in the human body. They have a wide variety of branching patterns that is characteristic of a particular subset of neurons. The size differences are also very eclectic. Some neurons are long, wide, and myelinated, while others are short, narrow, and unmyelinated. Myelinated is covered with myelin sheath. Neurons have been grouped into two broad categories. Those found in the central nervous system, brain and spinal cord, and those in the peripheral nervous system. In the central nervous system, they are found in clusters referred to as nuclei, or in layers also known as laminae. However, in the peripheral nervous system, they are found in ganglia. Neurons are able to communicate with each other and with N organs, with the muscles and glands, with the aid of neurotransmitters. What we are looking at right now is a cardiac muscle cross section. Cardiac muscle is a highly specialized cardiac muscle that forms the wall of the heart, and like smooth muscle, it is involuntary. The fibers form branching and intertwining chains of cells, allowing the heart to contract in a ringing motion to pump blood from the chambers. If you look closely, you can see the nuclei of the cells. Cardiac muscle fibers have illustrations when viewed under the microscope. However, they are not as dark as those found in skeletal muscle. This is due to the myofibrils in cardiac muscle being arranged in an orderly manner as with the skeletal muscle, but the number and therefore the density of the myofibrils is less. Cardiac muscle fibers seem to branch, weave, and merge with each other, forming what appears to be one continuous multinucleated mass called a syncytium. However, High magnification shows that each cardiac muscle fiber is completely bounded by its own sarcolemma, so that even though the fibers do branch, they are not continuous with adjacent fibers. With respect to another key identifying factor, each cardiac muscle fiber has one nucleus located deep within the cell. What we are looking at right now is the slide containing the cross-section of a separated smooth muscle. Smooth muscle is an involuntary, non-estriated muscle. It is divided into two subgroups, the single unit or the unitary and multi-units small muscles. Smooth muscle, so named because the cells do not have visible estriations. It is also present in the walls of hollow organs like urinary bladder. Smooth muscle comprise the walls of many hollow organs. They are unlike estriated muscle, contract slowly and automatically. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much.